This meeting. Teacher Raquel. Mentiras, teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> Le presioné ahí sin querer el botón de apagado a la computadora. My goodness. I'm sorry. All right. Good. So um, I was I was saying that for uh for today, well, we have um, well, I was in the last activity, I think, right? Uh, I was in the group work. Okay. So uh, we have a, a group work activity, and in this uh, group work activity, in the in the last part, uh, you will create. You will have a discussion, all right, about some information uh, related to financial statements, okay? So this is what we have for today, all right? So basically, uh, yesterday, we studied the use of so and such, all right? We studied the use of so and such. For example, that's so important, okay? That was such a great program. That was such a great program. All right, that was such an amazing trip. So uh, what is the difference between so and such? Anybody? What is the difference between so and such? Do you remember? Yes, and so is um, by adjectives. Exactly. We use so plus adjectives. So important, so interesting, so spectacular. Good. And such? Continue, Carla. Is the name plus um, complement? No. It's a, it's a little phrase we said, right? Okay. And the phrase starts with an adjective. Well, sometimes starts with our an. An adjective and a noun, right? Like, for example, such an interesting movie that was such an interesting movie such luego el n luego el adjetivo interesting y luego el, el, el noun que es movie that was such an interesting movie fue una película muy interesante o tan interesante okay okay uh, so this is the difference basically okay and to give you more examples you can say for example um well, I was saying that sometimes women say uh, she was such a beautiful woman. She was such a beautiful woman, right? Such a beautiful adjective, woman, noun. Or you can say um, it was such a beautiful car. It was such a beautiful car. A beautiful car, que sería el nombre. Es una pequeña frase. It's a little phrase, all right? Or that was such an expensive cell phone. That was such an expensive cell phone, okay? Ese era un teléfono tan caro. That was such an expensive cell phone, all right? So the meaning of such and so in this context is the same, we said, right? The meaning is the same. El significado era el mismo, dijimos, en este contexto, in this context, okay? That was related to so and such, all right? And we studied the use of gerunds. Three different uses for gerunds. Estudiamos tres usos diferentes para los gerundios. What is use number one? ¿Cuál era el primer uso? What was use number one? De los gerundios, el ING. Increasing, going, playing. Carlos, I think. The, uh, the, the use, we use ING after this verbs. After some verbs, um, exactly. Some verb. uh -huh. We use ing after some verbs. That is the second use. Ese era el segundo uso. For example, uh, she prefers uh, going alone. She prefers going alone. Or I prefer visiting my mother on vacation. All right? So you use ing. Y el otro era dislike. El otro verbo que teníamos, dislike. For example, I dislike eating what? I dislike eating... Uh, onion i don't know something you don't like okay i dislike uh going to the mountains you know le gusta ir a las montañas i dislike going to the mountains for example dislike going después de dislike y de prefer ponemos ing en los usos que, que estudiamos all right that was the second use este era el segundo uso in the first use y el primer uso the first use we you have three uses for gerunds carlos mentioned the second use what is the first use? What was the as first the use? As the subject. 
exactly as the subject. All right, like for example, alguien dijo, going to the park is interesting or exercising is so important. Exercising is so important, como sujeto, right? Or what? Eating vegetables is healthy. Eating vegetables, it's healthy. Comer vegetales es saludable. Eating vegetables. So we use, usamos el verbo con ing como un sujeto, right? As a subject, al principio, eating vegetables, all right? Driving a Lamborghini must be interesting, all right? Yeah, very good. And we have the third use. Falta el tercer uso. What was the third use? ¿Cuál era el tercer uso? What was the third use of gerunds? After preposition. Exactly, after prepositions, right? For example, I'm interested in taking an English course. I'm interested in, después de ese in, there is a, que es una preposición, el verbo va con ing, taking. I'm interested in taking an English class. Or I'm interested in taking driving lessons, for example, I don't know, right? Or I am worried about um, having what? Having a problem with this computer. I am worried about, about the preposition, having a problem with this computer, all right? Yeah. So about and in are prepositions. We have more prepositions, okay? Y ayer veíamos algunas, like for, uh, I said for is a preposition, to is a preposition sometimes too, before, okay, like for example, um, what? Before listening uh, to your classmates, uh, you should participate, before listening, because before is a preposition, so si usamos un verbo después le ponemos ing en gerundio, before listening, okay? Yeah, all right, so do you have any question? This is just to review. Este es solo para repasar. This is just to review. But do you have any question? No? No? No, right. Well, you were supposed, Cristina? No, no questions? No, I think she turned on, turned on the microphone without meaning to. Good. And I said that you had to help me completing one exercise, right? Les pedí que me ayudaran a completar una actividad. I asked for help completing one activity. Okay, ¿la completaron? Did you complete the activity? No, me digan que no. Don't say no, please. Yeah. Yes, excellent. So you were complete, you were supposed to complete these conversations using these verbs with gerunds, right? Con gerund como gerundios, with gerunds. ¿Cómo les quedó la número uno? How is number one? Having, doing, having. Start, okay. having Vaya, levante la mano los que hicieron la tarea. Vayan a reacciones yes. y levantan la mano, por favor, los que hicieron la tarea. Go to, go to reactions and raise your hands, please. Los que la hicieron. Vayan a reacciones y levantan la mano, please. Go to reactions and raise your hands. <laughs> Let's see how many, vamos a ver cuántos. Let's see how many. I have one, two, three. Three only. Ok, veo que solo tres. Vale, entonces tomen unos cinco minutos para que vean qué verbo pueden usar con ING en el espacio. Alguien dijo por ahí que en la, en la, en la primera que era. What is in the first one? Having. Having. Uh -huh. I would say giving. 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 Yeah, giving. Do we start? Le voy, a, le voy a dar con la primera para que continúen con las demás. I would say that here the answer is giving. Como vamos a usar giving. con ING. Giving. That's right, giving. Uh, do we start giving to Christmas week off? Empezamos por dar dos semanas de Navidad libres o de vacación. On the second? In the second I space? Prefer, I prefer paying exactly. than to work. Exactly. So the answer for the second is paying. Paying. Exactly. I prefer paying them to work one more week plus a bonus. Yo prefiero pagarles para que trabajen una semana más con un bono, right? Plus a bonus, all right? So paying. So continue with the others. Continuemos con las demás. Continue with the others. Remember to use ING with the verb. Recuerden usar ING con el verbo. Remember to use ING with the verb, okay? 
So continue with two, three, and four. Five minutes, and then we check. Tres minutos, cinco minutos y revisamos. Five minutes and we check. All right, in one minute we check. Un minuto revisamos, in one minute we check.
Okay, let's see what you have, all right? Let's see uh, conversation number two, right? Uh, conversation number two. Uh, are you interested in, what do you have, in what? Having. Having, exactly. So here is having, right? Are you interested in having new ideas for products? Yes, I am. Getting. Uh, getting, right? I love getting some, all right? Very good, thank you very much. I love getting some. Yes, I am. Do you have? I love getting some. Conversation three. What is first? Asking. Providing. Providing, exactly. So you say, providing salaries to employees each month is our priority, all right? Provider salarios a los empleados cada mes es nuestra prioridad. And what do you have on the second space? I totally agree with that. Beside, what? Hiring. Hiring, exactly. What is hiring? ¿Qué es hiring? Contratando. Contratar, contratar in this case, all right? Lo ponemos con ing, con ing, pero cuando lo traducimos es con r, r, ir, all right? Because they are subjects. Besides, hiring new workers has to be another one, okay? Aparte de eso, contratar nuevos trabajadores tiene que ser eh, prioridad también, right? Has to be another priority, okay? And the last one, the last one, number four. Are you worried about what? Asking. Asking, exactly. Are you worrying, are you worried about asking the bank for the loan? Not really. I'm more concerned about what? Selling. Selling, that's right. Concern es como preocupado, right? I'm more concerned about, estoy más preocupado por vender los nuevos productos para pagar a los empleados. I'm more concerned about selling the new products to pay the employees, right? And this is how it looks. Así les debió haber quedado. This is how it looks, okay? So if you have some errors, please make the corrections, okay? Hagan las correcciones si tienen algún error. Make the corrections. Y si quieren, hagan una captura por los ejercicios que siempre les dejan en la plataforma, okay? Just in case. Okay, all right, quick reminder. I will, okay, hold on a second. Oh my goodness, don't pay attention to that. Hold on a second. Okay, uh, I, I will stop sharing. Um, pay attention to this. So yesterday we started uh, the different steps and a definition of cash flow cycle, all right? De un ciclo de flujo de, de fondos, all right? Cash flow cycle, yes? O caja chica, some people say, right? Yeah, good. Now listen, um, when we talk about cash flow cycle, we have different steps. Tenemos diferentes pasos. What is the first step? Do you remember? What is step number one? What is step number one? In, in cash, right? The cash, all right? To have the cash. That is step number one, okay? First, you have the cash, in cash. And what is the second? Converted into inventory. Converted into inventory, or we have also, in, we can have inventory or accounts payable, all right? Accounts payable. Por pagar, accounts payable, cuentas por pagar, right? Like the products or the, the raw material we said, right? What do we have next? ¿Qué teníamos después? Accounts payable. After accounts payable, las cuentas por pagar. What is next? The accounts. The accounts receivable. Okay. We had the accounts receivable. ¿Cuáles eran los accounts receivable? Las cuentas por cobrar. And also, I mean, before that we have like, I mean, we, we, we decide on the client to sell the products, right? Or service, all right? Elegimos los clientes o la, la, a, esa, esa, a esas personas que les vamos a vender el producto o el servicio, right? And then we have the accounts 
uh, receivable, las cuentas por cobrar. And then that becomes cash again. Y eso llega a ser otra vez efectivo y se mueve el ciclo nuevamente. And the cycle, the cash flow cycle moves again. All right? Cash, inventory, cash payable, I mean, accounts payable, cuentas por pagar. Uh, here we have products, raw material. Uh, then we have uh, like the clients who we are going to sell the products to, a los clientes quienes les venderemos el producto o el servicio, accounts receivable, cuentas por cobrar, and then the cash again. Y luego vuelve otra vez el cash, all right? You receive the cash, okay? And then the cycle continues and continues and continues, all right? Good. So now listen, please. In this moment, so basically it's the money that flows in the company, right? Basically es el dinero que, que fluye en la compañía, all right? Good. It says, create a conversation about the important steps of the cash flow cycle of your company. ¿Cómo es ese ciclo de, de, de flujo de, de fondos en su, en su compañía? How does it work? So create a conversation about that. Van a crear una, una conversación. Create a conversation about that. Uh, say why each step is so important to everybody. Di por qué cada paso es importante para todos. Okay. Pueden tomar como ejemplo, as an example, oh my goodness, it was too much. Como ejemplo, pueden tomar la conversación que está en la página 41. The conversation on page 41. Okay? Yeah. As an example, right? But you could have something, something different. Gracias. But you could have, I mean, remember, it's about your company, all right? Recuerden que es acerca de su compañía. Tal vez, en, tal vez ese ciclo en su compañía es diferente. It's different, I don't know. Or maybe it's the same. All right? ¿De acuerdo? ¿Estamos de acuerdo? ¿Estamos claros? Are you clear? Sí. Yes. I don't know. Let me, let, me, let me try to give you some examples about this. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Here. Let me move. Uh, you can start like, because you are talking about the, the cycle, right? Because it's in pairs, it's in parejas. Imagine I work with Lucy. So I can say, Lucy, hi, Lucy, how are you? And she said, oh, fine, thank you. And you, I'm very well, thank you so much. Uh, so Lucy, can you tell me about the uh, cash flow cycle of your company? Puede contarme acerca del flujo de fondos de su compañía? And then Lucy says, well, uh, first, um, we invest the money in some what computers or right? i don't know all right we invest the money in some computers invertimos el dinero en algunas computadoras so we have the cash payable all right or the accounts payable and then um we have we, we have the inventory tenemos el inventario we have the inventory uh, we choose the clients for the to buy the computers elegimos a los proveedores we choose the suppliers or the clients, then the suppliers, luego, I mean, then the clients, sorry, luego los clientes. Uh, then we, we send the products to the, to the clients and they pay, the, they, they pay for, the, for the computers and we continue with the same cycle again, okay? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Y luego le regresa la pregunta, me regresa la pregunta Lucy. Oh, sorry, yo le regreso la pregunta Lucy. Lucy, and, and what is the, the cash flow cycle in your company. Y luego ella me cuenta cómo es el ciclo de, del flujo de fondos en la compañía donde ella trabaja. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Es solo para darles un ejemplo. Just to give you one example. Right. Yes. So básicamente tienen que explicar cómo es ese, ese ciclo. You have to explain that cycle about the cash in your company. Ok. Good. So you will work in pairs. Van a trabajar en parejas. You will work in pairs. ¿Cuánto tiempo necesitan para esto? How much time do you need for this? 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes. Tell me, how much time do you need for this? Let's negotiate. Oh my goodness, what a silence. No. One hour. The, answer, <laughs> the answer can be a short answer or? Yeah, a simple procedure. A simple cycle. 
Don't make it so complicated. Okay. O si no, no van a, si lo hacen bien complejo, no lo van a terminar. Ah, no es sencillo. Make it simple. All right. Make it simple. A simple cycle. So how much time? 15 minutes? Do you think are okay? 15 minutes? Are 15 minutes okay? Yes. Or well, Lucy saying yes. Carlos? One hour. One hour, not too much. <laughs> All right, I'll give you around 15 or 20 minutes, okay? Traten de llevar el tiempo ahí para que terminen entre 15 y 20 minutos, okay? De acuerdo? All right, let's go to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Eh, de los que están con cámara apagada, ¿van a trabajar en la actividad? Con cámara encendida solo tengo nueve. Bueno, Lucy también, ¿verdad? Diez. Hazel también, once. ¿Los demás yes, van a trabajar? Doce, twelve... Los demás no. Yes, eh, teacher. Yes, Daniel. Eh, voy a estar como oyente ahorita, por un okay. momento. Ok. Uh, Los demás. Teacher. The rest. Hector. Ah, ok. Eh, mantenga la cámara apagada para que trabaje también, Kelsey. Sí, sí. All right. Very good. Ok. I have like 12 people. Vamos a hacer siete parejas. Si en el momento que envíen, porque aquí los hace. La plataforma escoge y como hay varios que están conectados, pero no van a trabajar, probablemente van a estar solos, pero tengan paciencia y yo les voy a mandar a alguien para que trabajen en parejas, ¿ok? All right. Let's go down. Fifth. Yes, Mauricio. Solamente termino una tarea aquí de, que tengo de estudio y, y si me desocupan lo que están, yo le pido que me ingrese a un grupo. All right. Ok. Permítame que había hecho un solo equipo ahorita. <ríe> My goodness. Voy a esperar que salgan los demás porque por error había hecho un solo equipo. <ríe> a todos los iba a mandar al mismo grupo. I was sending everybody to the same group. Okay. All right, let me make seven groups. Okay, let's go. Ahora sí. Now let's go. similar a esto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Estoy buscando la conversación ahorita. Ok. La de Hugo era, ¿verdad? Hugo y Milton. Sí. Sí. Vale. Bueno, digo, comencemos. ¿verdad? Hello, Hazel, how are you? Y ahí me contesta. Javier. Uh -huh. Vale, ok. Eh, quiero ver. De ahí vamos a ver. Este os... 
Ah, ya. Este de... Nos vamos a referir a ventas o algo así, igual que en la conversación anterior. Este, podríamos, bueno, yo pienso yo que la, la pregunta sería, digamos, ¿cuál es la forma de cash flow en tu empresa? Creo que podría ser. What is the cash flow cycle in your company? Cash flow cycle. Ah. Yeah, in your company. In your case, Javier, so you, you are not talking about a product, you are talking about a service, right? Because you sell services, I imagine. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. The service, entonces. The service, in your case, right? But Hazel, mm -hmm. I don't know, Hazel, do you sell products? No, it's service too. Ah, then services too. Okay. It's about a service then. What is your cash flow cycle in your company? Entonces, la pregunta podría ser, digamos, ¿cuál es la forma de uso de, de cycle cash flow, me dijo, ¿verdad? Cash flow cycle. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. cash, cash flow, flow cycle. cycle. Yeah. Cash, remember, cash flow es como el movimiento de fondos, ¿ok? Cómo se invierte y todo eso, ¿ok? The cash flow. Eso diría en la primera, ¿verdad, Javier? Ya no preguntaríamos a Wario. Sí. ¿Cómo no? Este, sería la continuación de, después de eso. What is your cash flow cycle in your company? Uh -huh. Hello, Javier. Ajá, sería eso. Hello, Javier. How are you? Sería... Ajá. First. Entonces, de ahí la primera sería, what is the way of using cash flow cycle in your work? Estaría bien así, sí. Repeat, please. Así lo vamos, vaya. What? What is the way of using what is the way of using cash flow cycle in your work or in your company creo que puede um, maybe 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 if you are saying what is the way of using you better say cash, only cash. What is the way of using cash in your company? Because si decimos el ciclo del, del movimiento de fondos, tendría que ser cuál es el ciclo del movimiento de fondos. So what is the cash flow cycle in your company? Pero si lo quieren decir así, como lo tienen, eh, ¿cuál es el uso? Sería cash. Solo cash, ¿ok? So it's your decision. Ustedes deciden qué usar. You decide what to use. Solo cash, entonces. Mm -hmm. In this case, yes, because of the way you are, like you have your question. Mm. Javier, yo pensaba, eh, ya hizo la pregunta al inicio y solo iba a decir, hey, hello, Javier, I'm fine. Oh. Y iba a explicar, first, we receive the impuestos on tax, ¿verdad, Ticho? Taxes. Taxes. Yeah. First, we receive taxes in where me dijo, ¿no? First, primero. We ah, receive, okay. First, we receive taxes in. Sería taxes of the. Uh, 
of the people and the companies. Así sería, ¿verdad, teacher? Eh, de las eh, personas y empresas. Uh, but when you say personas, you're talking about los, los trabajadores, the employees. No, porque es una, es una alcaldía. Entonces recibe tasas y, e impuestos de personas y, y empresas. Yeah, people's taxes and businesses. Mm -hmm. So people's and business taxes, you better say people and business taxes. Sería entonces, first we receive people in business taxes. Yeah. First you receive in people's taxes. Okay. Ajá. En aquí preguntaría yo también. En what is your cash flow cycle in your company? Haría la misma pregunta. Ay, podemos decir. Ajá, digamos que, que yo le, le, le preguntaría, ¿verdad? Ajá. A usted. Pero armamos la, pero armamos la entre las dos una. La, la, la conversación. Ajá, vaya, por ejemplo, si usted me pregunta a mí, yo le dijera, eh, quizás, in my company, the cash flow is invested, creo que es, a letter credit for customer. Um, mm -hmm. uh, de, de, y después, vea, y después se eh, re, recibe eh, payment for investment returns uh -huh. with, with utilidades, no sé cómo se dice, veamos, con utilidades, algo así, quiero ver, utilidades, uh -huh. uh -huh. utilities. Entonces la, la, la cuestión que, que haríamos sería, ajá, y Cristina, eh, you could tell me, how the, uh, I don't you can tell me, o sea, podrías contarme, um, in your company, um, Aha, or tell me how to cash flow in manager, um, in your company. Uh -huh. Algo así. Teacher, los dos tenemos que explicar el flujo de caja en la compañía o solo uno. Yes, yes, that's right. That's los right. Dos. Yes, that's right. Entonces, él sí, después de que yo le explico uh -huh. la mía, entonces yo le pregunto. Eh, y en tu compañía, ¿cómo la maneja? ¿Cómo manejan el flujo de caja? Uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ajá. Y entonces okay. es lo que estábamos hablando antes, ¿verdad? Lo que usted me explicaba antes de cómo es en, en su caso. Es que como uh -huh. son compañías diferentes, teacher, es así como dos rubros diferentes. ¿verdad? I imagine, I imagine. I'm, I'm sorry because my baby boy came when you were asking uh -huh. the question. I'm sorry, okay? Lo siento porque mi, el, mi hijo vino en lo que estaban preguntando. Which, no se uh, when you were asking. Yeah, basically, uh, the two of you have to explain the cycle, right? So first, maybe as uh, you ask, Uh, Cristina, you ask like, how are you? And what is the cash flow cycle in your company? Luego él se explica y le, y le regresa la pregunta and, you're, and the cash flow cycle in your company. Can you tell me? ¿Puedes contarme? And then you explain, ¿ok? Ajá. Y es más contado, ¿verdad? Que decir los pasos exactamente. Yes, si no yes, it's Ajá. correct. Ok. Ah, pues sí, sí, algo así como lo estamos. Yeah, yeah, it's like, okay. like for, example, for example, you can say, um, Uh, first, uh, we invest the money in what? Invertimos el dinero en qué? In what? ¿En qué lo invierten? In what do you invest? In credits. Ah, then you say we invest the money in, in credits and then uh, the clients come to the bank and they ask for loans 
pay them préstamos, they ask for loans, and then we give them loans, and, well, ahí es el accounts payable que, que le dan los, los créditos, porque ahí no sacan nada en el momento, pero cuando ellos terminan el crédito en los, con los intereses, with, with interest, y luego les dicen, and then when the, and then the clients pay, what? Pay every month, for example, pagan cada mes, y ahí van ya el accounts receivable, que okay, las cuentas por cobrar, ¿ya? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Más o menos a largo plazo. Uh -huh. That's right, uh -huh. long term. Ok. Bueno, este, usted había armado el suyo, ¿verdad, Elsie? Ajá, sí, yo, yo con, los, con estos pasos que, que, que tengo por acá, lo que, le, lo que le estaba comentando, ¿verdad? Cash in hand, convert into inventor, en accounts, eh, teacher, esa palabra me cuesta, payable, o payable. payable. Accounts payable. 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 Yeah, payable. accounts payable. Okay. Accounts payable. Expense for product or service development. Porque prácticamente en mi empresa, eh, casi, so, o sea, son servicios los que okay. se prestan. Mm -hmm. Sell and accounts receivable, cash in hand. And finally, we receive the cash, you can say. Receive the, the cash? Yeah. With profits, con ganancias, with profits. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, because at the end you receive the cash with profits, right? With earnings, con ganancias, with earnings. Sí. Mm -hmm. um, vaya, si si quiere, mm -hmm. practiquémoslo, veámoslo como... Si usted ya tiene como armado el suyo, Vaya, Le, eh, usted me preguntaría. Yo primero, vaya. Hi, Elsie. Tell me how to cash flow in management in your company. Um, sure, Christine. Um, in my company, um, um, cash in hand, converted into inventory, and accounts payable, and expense for product of service development, sales and accounts receivable, uh, obtained with profit. In your cars, Christine? Microphone, Christina. Christine. In my company, in my company, the cash flow is invested, invested, invested. How do you pronounce it? Invested. 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 In yeah. my company, the cash flow is invested and letter credit products are plus um, upon received the payment the investment return with profits sometime in the long terms okay algo así pues algo así Ajá. o sea que, que en, su, en su caso eh, comenzó diciendo in my company invest 
Así, ¿verdad? Ajá. Lo que invierten es su compañía. Lo que productos de crédito. Pe Vamos a ver, déjeme ver algo. Ajá. Eh, teacher, eh, esta palabra de vaya, si yo quiero decir en mi compañía se maneja el flujo de caja, eh, eh, sería como in my company, in the cash flow. Is manage. Is manage. Manage. Is manage. Con, con D al final. Is manage. Is manage. That's uh -huh. right. Okay. Mm. Yes. Sometime. Eh, vamos a ver, tal vez es más comprensible. Voy a repetirle mi, mi explicación. Vaya. <risa> In my company, the cash <risa> is invested by place, placing credit product with interest. Interest. Um, when customer buy for this investment is returned with profits sometime in the long term. Un poco más claro. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Bye. Vamos a ver si le okay. Entonces estoy viendo que le, le quiero hacer la mía también. Ahora no llegó la encuesta a todos, teacher, en el grupo, vea. That's right. <ríe> sí, yo todavía. Bueno, es que esa es, es la evaluación para el teacher. <ríe> yo le pongo 10. Ajá. Ajá, para, para el teacher y para, para todo en general. Para, para, todo. para administración de inglés corporativo y general. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ya. Yeah. Vale. Eh, me iba a cambiar a la suya, Elsie. Eh, fíjense que... No, está más o menos. No, si no, no nos sí. quedamos con ese y practicamos. Yo, yo creo, ajá. Sí, yo creo que sí. Si quiere, si practiquemos y en lo que lo va diciendo, ahí podemos ver si le cambia algo. 
Ok, uh -huh. vaya. Uh, hello, Cristina. Can you tell me how they um, cash flow in your company? In my company, the cash flow is investor be placing credit product with interest. Interest. Uh, when customer buy for the investment, investment it's return with profits sometime in the low terms. Um, and you tell me how you manage the sky flows in your company? Hola, hola. 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 Ah, se, sí, que tengo problemas bastante de conexión, que no, no, le, no le escuché al final, Cristi. Ah, ok. Bueno, pero al final le preguntaba, sí, es, ¿and you sí, tell sí. me how you manage this cash flows in your company? Ok, in my company, the cash flows is managing y cash in hand and um, convert it into inventory and accounts paper, expense for product of service development, sales accounts receivable. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, everyone. Well, I gave you more time because I know it was a little complicated. Le di, un, le di bastante más tiempo porque estuve con dos parejas y vi que no habían terminado. Y so they hadn't finished, all right? I don't know if the rest finished. No sé si los demás terminaron. I don't know if the others finished. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. that's perfect. Okay, yeah. I explain again. I gave more time because I was with two pairs and they hadn't finished, okay? Le di más tiempo por las dos parejas que no habían terminado. Okay, so I know it was a little complicated. All right. So in case, uh, voy a pasar asistencia antes de que compartan before you turn. Okay, uh, Carlos? Present. Cristina? Present. Daniel? Present. Doris? Rachel? Present. Ellen Nielsen? Elsie, she has connection problems, I think. Hazel? Present. Hector? Present. Irma? Present, teacher. Javier? I am here, teacher. Lucy? Present. Sorry, I didn't say Johnny is not here or he's here. Not right. Mauricio? Present. All right. Maho? Present teacher. Rafa? Santos? Present teacher. Ulises? Wendy? Jessica? Carla Maria? Present. And Carla Raquel? Present teacher. All right. Very good. Okay, uh, very good. So uh, I want to listen to some conversations, okay? So please, um, voluntarily, voluntariamente, who wants to share? Quien quiere compartir? Who wants to share? Volunteers? Carla and me. All right, Carla and? And Carla. Carla and Carla. And Carla. <laughs> Carla and Carla, all right. So let's listen to Carla Maria and Carla Raquel. Okay. Yes. Hello, Carla, how are you? Fine, and you? Good, thank for asking. And I want to know how are the step of the cash flow of your company? Okay, it is a bit complex, but first we order the cash in 
income and expenses. And when do you define the period of analysis of your company? It is a year. Oh, it's uh, interesting how they handle it in your company. I would like to know a little more. In my company, one of the main steps is a record expense in the period. I see that we handle similar steps. Ahí nos quedamos teacher. Okay, yeah, but it's excellent. Oh my goodness, what a conversation. Very good. Thank you, Carla Maria and Carla Raquel. Okay. All right, so you basically, you talk about one step only, right? Yes. Okay, it's good. It's excellent. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, another pair of volunteers. Otra pareja de voluntarios. Another pair of volunteers. Hector. Uh, Carlos N. I'm ready, uh, Carlos. Hector. And Hector. Uh, Solo que nosotros no, no nos basamos en la, en la conversación, pero hicimos uno. No, it's okay, no problem. As you okay. can see, Carla and Maria's, uh, I mean, Carla Maria's and Carla Raquel's conversation is not based on the conversation. No problem, it's okay. I said, talk about the, the, the cash flow cycle, right? Not, I said, you can use the conversation as an example, but it's not mandatory. No era obligación, it was not mandatory, okay? Okay. Uh, we're okay. Talking, talking about uh, coffee. Go ahead, Hector. Okay. Hello, Carlo. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, uh, and you? I'm fine too. Okay. Uh, remember, uh, we need to buy a, a lot of coffee maker. Of course, and so where I distribute this lot in the different store. Yeah, we need hiring a barista to do a testing in each store. It is correct. So we sell in, in all our store. And then to the finish the month, we must check the cash flow. And then we pay the bank loan. Okay, I see you store later. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> okay, it's, I mean, it, it's perfect. It's really good. Uh, I mean, okay. you didn't mention the steps, but you apply the steps, all right? Okay, yeah. it's, it's good. Okay, <laughs> you don't mention, but you apply the steps, all right? No los mencionan, pero los aplican los pasos. You apply the steps in your conversation. Yes. That's very creative. It's okay. That's very creative. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Hector and Carlos. Uh, do we have more volunteers? Do we have more volunteers? Irma and Santos. <laughs> All right. Let's listen to Irma and Santos. Hello. Irma. Okay, I start. Hello, Irma. How are you? Hello, Santos. I am fine, and you? I am good. Uh, what, is, what is the cash flow cycle in your company? Uh, cash and merchandise in this, in this, in this, in this, in this, I can say, so this invertir, the picture. Invested. Invested. Um, payment of obligation are made uh, such as salaries, payment of local service, etc. Um, and keep it invest investment. And your company? In my company, the cash flow is for transferring of the USA. Uh, because uh, because pay at the worker in for buy different product because it's important um, well, because it's important in my company. It's important because it maintains jobs 
and the money keeps working. Okay. For my company is is very important. The for the din, din, dynamic and for the low life life lead the company. Okay, okay, so basically you talk about the importance, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, that, that's very creative. Thank you very much, Santos and Irma. Thank you very much for your conversation. Very good. Uh, last pair, ultima pareja, last pair. Last pair. Teacher, yo lo hice sola porque me metí al grupo, pero nadie estaba ahí conmigo, pero lo hice. Yo creo que estaba con alguien que se tuvo que ir de emergencia, si no me equivoco. Pero al, bueno, al principio los le, las parejas vi que estaban completas, pero no sé qué pasaría. Entonces, I don't know what happened. I'm sorry, Majo. Pero no sé si se lo leo, aunque no sé yes, si estará bien. Yes, of course, por supuesto, of course. Read it. Ok. Hello, uh, Cristian. Good morning. How are you? Uh, hello, Majo. I fine. Thank you. Tell me, where do you work? I work in Textile La Paz Delta Corporation. Very good. What is the function of the new company? Oh, the to decide clothing and style for the batch brown. For for example, uh, UA and Norfolk and Carter ATC. Really excellent. Tell me. How is the cash flow of the sequel in your company? You invest in the invest in raw material, your shares for labor, make inventory for each, each area. We have a department that central expanded in flow and hood flow for money profits and losses. The first analyze and keeping. Interesting. Okay, thank you for your information. Only Very that. good, excellent. So you work in a maquila, right? Yes. Yes, I, I could see. All right, thank you very much, Maho. That's very good. It's a good conversation. Excellent. Thank you. And thank you everybody for your uh, conversations, for the volunteers. So please, everybody, go to reaction and give your classmates a reaction. Vamos a dar una reacción a los que participaron. Give a reaction to the people who participated in this activity. Thank you very much. Good work. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Now let's go to the next activity. Uh, in the next activity, um, let me show you here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find it. Okay. Let me show you the next activity here. So uh, for the next activity, uh, we have um, a discussion, okay? So uh, in this part, it says, discuss with your classmates what you know about the assets, liabilities, and stockholder equity of your company, all right? So basically it says, discute con tus compañeros, right? Discuss with your classmates. What you know about, que saben de, what is assets? Any idea? Es como evaluación, evaluar, Sorry? evaluaciones. Evaluaciones. Um, that would be revisiones. Ah, okay. Mm, that would be assessment. Assets? Activos. 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 Any other translation? Otra traducción que hayan encontrado? Activos pasivos. Activos pasivos. Any other translation? Otra que hayan encontrado? Activos. Activos, that's right. So basically assets, it's, okay, uh, let me see, uh, because uh, what I had is uh, like acciones, activos, right? Okay, very good. So that would be assets, activos. And liabilities? Pasivos. Pasivos. Los pasivos. And stockholder equity? Y capital contable. Y capital contable, that's right. So we have activos, pasivos y capital contable. So discuss with your classmates what you know about the assets, liabilities, and stockholder equity of your company, all right? 
So, um, write a little summary of what you know about this. Escriban un pequeño resumen acerca de lo que saben de cada una de estas cosas en su compañía. Y luego vamos a compartir. And then you share, ¿ok? No lo hagan tan largo. Make it simple. All right? Háganlo simple. Háganlo sencillo. Make it simple, please. <coughs> It's about your companies. It's about your companies, okay? Activos, pasivos, y stockholder equity, que dijimos que era? Capital contable, ¿verdad? Right? So in simple words, assets is money uh, the company has, right? El dinero que, con, que, que, que posee la compañía, assets. Okay, liabilities, the money owed, all right? Accounts uh, payable, el dinero que se debe, liabilities, all right? Or the, the, the obligations or responsibilities. Ah, uh, tell me, Mahu. Este, ah, le estoy sincera, no sé cómo implementar el access and liability and... It's LN. basically, yeah, and it's, it says, right, uh, what do you know about the assets? I mean, the money the, the, or the positions of the company. Okay, what do you know about that? ¿Qué sabe? ¿Qué sabe de eso? O no tiene acceso a eso, I don't know. I don't know if you don't have access to it. Uh, mm -hmm. Los activos la son verdad, como... Los... No. Ok, then you can say I don't have access to that. Y como hay diferentes, diferentes, este, ay, ¿cómo lo podría decir? Áreas, áreas, áreas. Departamentos, áreas. De, departments. áreas y departamentos y cada quien en su departamento es... Yeah. So you, you can say then I don't know about assets, liabilities, and stockholder equity in my company. I don't have access to that. No tengo acceso. I don't have access to that. Pero si ha escuchado algo, lo puede decir. If you have listened to something, you can say it, right? Yes, Javier? Igual, bueno, en el caso mío también no tenemos acceso a eso. Okay. Solamente nos dicen, mire, vaya a traer esto y ya. Solo entrega de facturas nada más y ya. Okay, then you, you say I don't have access to, to this information. Eso es okay. todo. That's it. O si han escuchado algo, pueden decir, oh, I listened that to, I heard that, and then you can say what you have heard. Si han escuchado algo, right? But if you don't know, and if you have no access, you say, I don't have any access to this information. 
Okay. The same for you, Maho. If you have no access, I mean, I don't have access to this information, you can say. Okay, teacher, thank you. Uh, in stockholder equity, tal vez para que suene un poquito más sencillo, stockholder equity, después de que ya pagaron las liabilities, es lo que les sobró, all right? es el stockholder equity, all right? después de que han pagado todas las, las liabilities, all right? lo que les sobró, all right? that is the stockholder equity, equity sorry. For example, I, I will give you one about, about the, the place I work. Uh, well, if you ask me uh, what I know about the assets in my school, for example, what, what I know is that uh, the assets uh, are invested in different um, school objects for teachers, okay? And they also the assets uh, are invested in what? In some construction uh, materials, for example, yeah? And in some technology materials too, IC materials, okay? Liabilities, well, uh, what, what I know about the liabilities is that we, uh, sometimes we ask for the products to some bookstores and we pay later, okay? Ese es el dinero que se debe. A veces se piden las cosas y luego se pagan and then we pay, all right? So they give, like that option. The stockholder equity? No stockholder equity. My nada sobrante, todo se gasta. So no stockholder equity. In my place, right? In my place. No remaining cash. Everything is spent. Todo he gastado. So no remaining cash. No hay como efectivo restante. No remaining cash. Eso es lo que yo sé de mi, de, del lugar de mi trabajo. That's what I know about my school. No sé de su lugar de trabajo. Okay. Maybe you can say, um, I don't know, imagine it's a company that sells cars. Una compañía que vende carros. Okay. What I know about the assets is that uh, we buy around 100 cars every year. Uh, we buy around 100 cars every year. And then um, the liabilities, and then we pay uh, the money as we sell the cars. Luego pagamos ese, ese dinero cuando vendemos los carros, when we sell the cars, or when we sell five cars, for example. O puede ser tal vez, we pay a, a, an amount of money every month. Pagamos una cantidad de dinero cada mes, an amount of money every month. Stockholder equity? Ah, I know that 20% is earned when we sell the cars. 20% he ganado cuando vendemos los carros. 20% is earned when we sell the cars. Stockholder equity. Eso es lo que queda de ganancia. The earnings, right? Okay. I'm just trying to give you examples. Solo estoy tratando de darles algunos ejemplos. Creo que así funciona, ¿verdad, Elsie? Elsie es el especialista en contaduría, en contabilidad. Más o menos. Un poquito, Tiz. Un poquito, no, no ando muy perdido. No, 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 será que le estoy, no será que le estoy tratando de ayudar y los pierdo más con eso de la contabilidad. No, no, ya veo que se está empapando bastante de la contabilidad. I have to, I have to, tengo que, I have to. 
Le va a ir gustando. Así, así estoy viendo. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I see. Es básicamente solo lo que saben, ¿ok? Si no saben mucho, escriban lo que saben. Make it simple. Ah, no, sencillo. Make it simple. I'll give you two more minutes. And what you have, it's okay. All right? Le daré dos minutos. Si lo que tengan está bien. What you have, it's okay. Well, for Javier and Majo, it's easy, right? <laughs> and maybe for others. Y tal vez para, para otras personas. For others, okay? Uh, yo le puse, all payments made are paid by credit card to the distribution companies. No sé si. It's okay. It's good. Okay. That is for the for the what? For the assets, liabilities, or stockholder equity? Where do you put that? Uh, the the assets. All right, the assets. Okay, very good. Yeah.
Okay, so basically the question is, what do you know? The question is, what do you know about the assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity of your company? What do you know about the assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity of your company, right? And then, and then you share, y luego comparten, yes? Okay, so this is the question you will ask. Esta es la pregunta que se van a hacer cuando discutan, when you discuss, all right? Uh, so we will make uh, groups. Vamos a hacer grupos para que compartan con sus compañeros. So you share with your classmates. Imagine I work with Cristina and Carla Maria. So I will ask Cristina, Cristina, what do you know about uh, the assets, uh, liabilities, and, and stockholders' equity of, the, of your company? And then Cristina answers my question. And then Cristina can ask Carla Maria, and Carla Maria can ask me. Carla Maria me pregunta a mí al final, okay? So we will, we will try to make uh, groups a little big. Vamos a hacer un poquito grande los grupos para que escuchen diferentes puntos de vista. So you listen to different points of view, okay? Yeah? The question okay. is, what do you know about the assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity of your company, okay? Very good. So let's go in working groups. Only discuss. Solo vamos a discutir. Only discuss, please. All right, let's go. Go and share what you have, Majo. Majo, vaya a compartir lo que tiene con, con el equipo. Go and share what you have with, you, with your group. ¿Te aparece la opción? No. Vamos a ver. Según está en el equipo 2. La voy a mover al 1 y luego al 2, ¿ok? No aparece. Eh, teacher, pero sí, no, he, no me he metido porque en eso no tengo nada. Solo le puse, I don't not have access. No, no, pero vaya a escuchar a sus compañeros para ver qué tienen ellos también. Uh -huh. Y comparte que usted no, no, no conoce acerca de las assets y, y las liabilities. Ok. Thank you. All right. Los vehículos que, que obtiene la, la, la compañía. No, no, no. Que, que todos los pagos realizados por la empresa son por tarjeta de crédito a los distribuidores, a, la, ah. a los distintos distribuidores. Ah, las formas de pago. Ah, uh -huh. ah. Solo es una forma. Ah, solo son formas de pago. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ok. Ese serían los okay. activos, ¿verdad? En ese caso. Ajá, los activos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, vaya, si gusta me hace la pregunta. Y... Ok. Eh... Ahorita. Espérame que perdí la. En la 43. Página 43. Sí. Okay. Uh, what do what you know about the access the libraries in a stockholder equity of your company? In my company. 
there is a control of income and expense monthly. Asan, control and depreciation. Um, every three months, an evaluation of profit and loss assessment. It is very important. In case of loss, a chunk or a strategy. O sea que en caso de, de que hayan pérdida, la empresa toma otra estrategia. Otra estrategia, okay. uh -huh. y, y, y también le comentaba ahí que se, los activos uh -huh. se, se lleva el control de la depreciación en el caso de los activos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cada tres okay. meses se hace una evaluación de de las pérdidas y la ganancia. Ah, ok. Parece Bye. que, eh, bueno, que le pregunte ahí el compañero Santos a José o no sé. Sí, Santos. Y José Mauricio. Hello. Oh. Ok, uh, Mauricio. Hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, what you know about the liability in stock the quality of your company? Um, the assets of the company are the machine fabrics and software design size. The liabilities of the company are the supplies and loans of the company. Okay. Are you question me? Please. Come on. Come on. The question is. For, está en la 43. Ahí. En la página 43 está en la parte de arriba, en la esquina de su derecha. Um, wow. What? What you what you what you know about the assets assets liabilities and stockholder equity of your company? Okay, I don't know. I don't have access to the information in my company. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Easy. Easy, Santos. It's okay for Santos, right? Pan comido, piece of cake. Piece of cake. Qué galán. Yes, that is correct. No, I, know, I know how to access uh, other information. In my company. <laughs> Mejor. <laughs> no, se, no se estresa. <laughs> I think Elsie. Yeah. <laughs> Elsie has access and she manages. I see. The cash, I think. <laughs> sí, estresa, créame que. <laughs> I imagine. It's very. I mean, La y todo, bueno. To work with hay... money, yeah, to work with cash is very complicated. I, I remember uh, when I worked at a university, I, I was like the coordinator of a department and it was really complicated to work with money. I mean, it's a headache. Yeah. I hate numbers, believe me. I hate numbers. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Pago de planilla y todo. Mm, my goodness, it's crazy.
<laughs> administrative work. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> sí, tiene sus complicaciones. Yes, a lot of things which are very complicated. So I, in my case, I prefer. If you ask me, I say I will never work in administrative uh, positions again. Never. <laughs> Yo sé que tú dices que cuando sea ministro de educación. Oh my goodness, no, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> my goodness. All right, let's go then. You finished, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Yes. Let's go to the main session. Vamos entonces a la sesión principal. Let's go to the main session. Okay. Okay. This meeting is Okay, everybody. Well, uh, this time you won't share. Don't worry, okay? Aquí no van a compartir para esta actividad porque ya compartieron con sus compañeros. So you share with your uh, classmates, right? So uh, no problem. You are not going to share, okay? So let's continue studying a little bit more about this topic, all right? About assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity, okay? And for this, we have a balance sheet, okay? Por aquí tenemos un balance financiero. We have a balance sheet. Okay, so we have a consolidated balance sheet in the month, right? And we have some information, okay? In the balance sheet, we have uh, three important parts, okay? We have the assets, the, li the liabilities, and the stockholder equity, all right? So what we have been studying, lo que hemos estado viendo. So in the, here in the first part, we have the current assets, all right? Uh, what is current assets in Spanish? De acuerdo a lo que hemos estudiado. Current assets. Um, Current assets. ¿Qué era assets? What is assets? El activo. Los el activos activo actuales, ok. Ajá, lo, or, ajá, los activos actuales. We can say current assets. Cash and equivalents. Efectivo y equivalentes. Ajá, efectivo y equivalentes. And then we have the total, the total current assets, okay, que son como los activos actuales totales, and the total assets right here. Then we have the liabilities, current liabilities. What is liabilities in Spanish? Pasivos, circulantes. Pasivos. Circulante. Pasivos? Circulantes. Circulantes, Circulantes okay, uh, or present liabilities, right? Good. Uh, then we have accounts payable. ¿Qué era accounts payable? Eso lo vimos ayer. We studied this yesterday. Cuentas por pagar. Cuentas por pagar, exactamente. And the total uh, current liabilities, right? Que son los pasivos circulares, you said. Okay, el total. Uh, then we have the total liabilities, all right? Uh, que son los pasivos totales. Then we have the stockholders equity. ¿Qué era stockholders equity? Dijimos, we said at the beginning. What is that? Era stockholders equity. You remember? Do you remember? Capital contable. No? El capital contable. That's right. El capital contable. Stockholders equity. Then we have the common stock. All right. Que son las acciones um, comunes ordinarias. We can say, I think. Then we have the capital surplus. Que es como el capital sobrante. The capital surplus. And we have the total stockholder equity. So this is a balance sheet. Okay, this is a balance sheet. Un balance financiero, all right? Good. 
And we have three questions about the balance sheet. I mean, two questions about the balance sheet. Question number one is, <clears throat> okay, let's check question number one. How much is the total of assets and liabilities in 2017? The total of assets and liabilities in 2017. Check the information, please. What is the total of assets in 2017? So take a moment. Uh, uh, aquí tenemos que hacer la suma, ¿verdad? Take a moment, all right, and do it, please. Tomen un momento y hacemos la suma. All right, we make the, we add the, the, the two numbers, right? Creo que aquí los que sumaríamos serían estos dos, ¿verdad, Elsie? Ayúdenos, help us, please. <laughs> or, o alguien más que sepa de contabilidad. Para sacar el total assets, sumaríamos estos dos números, right? Los dos de acá, porque es 2017, del 2017. All right, zoom in, please. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, that's right. So, so uh, add the two numbers, zoom in on those numbers, add the two numbers and tell me the quantity. Y me dicen la cantidad, and tell me the quantity, please. Usen calculadora. <laughs> you can use a calculator. Aquí estamos hablando de billones, right? We are talking about billions, I think. Do you have the total? ¿Tienen el total? Do you have the total of question number one? ¿Ya tienen el total? Do you have the total of question number one? Yes. Yes. What is it? Tal vez lo tienen, pero para leerlo, right? To read it is a little difficult, maybe. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> eight billion. I, I think it's eight billions, all right? Eight billions. Billions. Yeah. Then we have it like this. Creo que ni yo puedo leer esta cantidad. I can I can even read this quantity. Pues yo yo había entendido que era mil seiscientos once. Millones. Yeah, más, ah, pero ah, más, ah. más 6,480 millones. O oh, sea, son millones. Siempre... Ajá. No son billones. No, no son billones. Es que los billones creo que ya llevan 12 ceros. Oh, oh my goodness. <risa> ok. Por eso creo que quedan 8,091 millones. All right. I'm confused now. All right. So it's then millions, right? Serían millones. Uh, no es cuando van seis ceros que son millones. Tengo tiempo de no ver números. I have a long time not seeing numbers. Sí, yo, bueno, yo, yo cre, que creo que un, un billón es un millón de millones. All right. So it's then <laughs> millions. Los demás, ayúdennos, please. Don't leave us alone. No nos dejen solos en esto. Don't leave us alone. <laughs> sí. <laughs> sí, porque tampoco sé yo. Accounting is not my area. <laughs> my goodness. Elsie, Sería please, teacher. we need help. Sería, antes de creería yo, 8,091 millones. Ah, all right. So it's millions then. All right, then it's a millions. I mean, Eight millions, uh, ninety-one thousand, right? Yes. Good. Um, ochocientos ocho millones noventa. Oh my goodness. Ocho millones noventa y un mil. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Ah, then you say eight millions ninety-one thousand. Eight millions ninety-one thousand in English. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the second question. Los números siempre no fueron lo mío. It's not my thing, all right. <laughs> okay, uh, now let's see um, the second question. Veamos la segunda pregunta. The second question is, if we add, si sumamos, if we add this number to this number, the result is, si sumamos estos dos números, ¿cuál es el resultado? So, sumemos. 
let's add the two numbers. So if we if we add this will be a hundred and sixty seven millions, right? Eight hundred and sixty seven millions. A hundred and sixty seven millions. Three million quatrocientos cincuenta y un mil. All right, so it will, it will be, uh, can you repeat the answer, please? Uh, three million. Yeah, three million. Three million, 451. 451,000, 51, right? Like this, see, like this. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. So it will be then uh, three million, se le diría en inglés, three million, uh, 451,000, okay? So that would be the answer. Esa sería la respuesta acá. That would be the answer here, okay? Thank you very much for your help. <laughs> Gracias por su ayuda. Thank you for your help. En inglés primero igual que, que, que en español. Primero se leen los millones y luego los... Ah, serían como, como... Después serían miles, right? So it will be a millions in number one, 91,000. In number two, three millions, y luego 451,000, right? Aquí serían el hundred, como llevan un hundred. Number two. Okay. Okay. Let's go to today's topic. Today's most important part. Vamos a la parte más importante de este día, the most important part of today. So please, everybody, Pay attention here. Ponga mucha atención acá. Pay a lot of attention here, please. Okay? Uh, so we have the zero conditional. What do you know about the zero conditional? ¿Qué saben del zero conditional? Have you ever heard about this? ¿Alguna vez lo han, lo han escuchado? Have you ever heard about this? Zero conditional. Yes. yes. What is zero yes. conditional? What is that? Uh, I know is those possibilities. Sorry. Uh, for me, uh, if I have two possibilities, two possibilities, uh, we have a cause and a cause and an effect. Yes, yes. or true or false. All right. Or two. Uh, okay. Yeah. Basically, in zero conditional, we use if to connect two clauses. Usamos el if para conectar dos oraciones que se llaman cláusulas, okay? Or we can use when, o podríamos utilizar when. Now check this, is, and the two examples, and the two sentences are in present. Esto es importante. Y en el zero conditional, las dos oraciones van en presente, in present, okay? The two sentences are in present. For example, check example number one. What do we do? If, está conectando las dos oraciones. What do we do if, connecting the two sentences, conectando las dos oraciones. What do we do if uh, we have very low assets? All right. One sentence que se llama cláusula and another sentence que se llama cláusula. All right. So if is connecting the two ideas. All right. So what do we do if we have very low assets? ¿Qué hacemos si tenemos activos muy bajos? So what do we do? ¿Cómo contestamos? If we have low assets, this is very important. Coma, si tenemos eh, activos muy bajos, coma, we have to even up the prices. Tenemos que nivelar los precios. We have to even up the prices, right? Cuando usamos el if al principio para conectar las dos oraciones, usamos una coma. We use a comma, okay? But we have another option. Tenemos la otra opción, usar el if en medio. Cuando lo usamos en medio, no coma is needed. La coma no se necesita. So you say, we have to even up prices if we have low assets. Tenemos que nivelar los precios si tenemos eh, activos eh, bajos. If we have low assets. Okay. Very good. So this is using if. Este es usando if. So the two sentences in present. Las dos oraciones siendo conectadas en presente. Look, we have to even up. It's in present. 
we have low assets is in present. So the two sentences are in present or the two clauses are in present. Las dos oraciones que están siendo conectadas están en presente. They are in present. Now let's see using when. Uh, where does your family go if they need a loan? Where does your family go? Present, right? Presente. If they need a loan. Present, okay? And if is connecting the equation, I mean, it's connecting the two ideas. In the answer, we are using when. When my family needs a loan, when está conectando las dos oraciones. When my family needs a loan, presente, they go to the bank, present. Y si usamos el when al principio, igual que if, ponemos una coma para separar las dos oraciones, to separate the two sentences. But we have the other option too. Tenemos la otra opción. My family goes to the bank when they need a loan. My family goes to the bank, present. Luego el connector, que sería el when, está conectando. Need a loan. Mi familia va al banco cuando necesita un préstamo. When they need a loan. So concluding, concluyendo, concluding. If and when they connect two clauses. Conectan dos ideas que se llaman cláusulas o dos oraciones que se llaman cláusulas. Clauses, right? In the answer, en la respuesta, si las uso al principio, if I use them at the beginning, separo con una coma las dos cláusulas o las dos oraciones, all right? Si las uso en medio, no coma is needed. Si las uso en medio, la coma no es necesaria. The coma is not needed, okay? Las dos oraciones siendo conectadas van en presente. They go in present. En el, zero, en el zero conditional, en el condicional cero. All right. Do you have any question? Eh, teacher. Yes. Bueno, en el caso, yo el if lo había utilizado, pero solo en programación. Mm -hmm. este, nosotros lo utilizamos como una sentencia para tomar decisiones si era verdadera o falsa. Ahí sí lo había visto. Por eso se llama conditional, porque es como una condición. Ajá. Es como una condición. Ajá, ajá sí. Si, o sea, si pasa esto, hacemos lo siguiente. Es una condición. Ajá. Right? Yeah, that, that's ajá, the idea. Sí. Esa es la idea. That's the idea. It's a condition. Uh -huh. Es una condición. Si algo pasa, hacemos lo siguiente. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. For example, you can say, if we don't have money, si no tenemos dinero, if we don't have money, we work. Si esto, pasa, si esto no pasa, pasa lo siguiente. O si esto pasa, pasa lo siguiente. Ok. Yeah. It's correct. You're right, Javier. You're right. So, any other question? It's a condition, right? It's a cause and an effect. Es como una causa y un efecto. All right. So, any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Do we have any other question? No more questions? Okay, let's do one example here. Hagamos un ejemplo por acá. Let's do one example here. ¿Cómo quedaría la número uno? How would number one be? So help me please. El, vamos a usar el verbo en paréntesis. Use the verb in paréntesis to complete the sentences. If I wake up. Exactly, because it's in present, right? If I wake up late, si me despierto tarde, if I wake up late. Um, what is the present of be? Presente del verbo to be? Is they, they I am. am. I am, because, porque el pronombre es I. Puede ser is, depende del pronombre, o are, right? So being present is am, um, because I am using I. So if I wake up late, I am late for work. Si me despierto tarde, llevo tarde al trabajo. I am late for work, okay? Let's do number two. Hagamos la número dos y ustedes hacen las demás. Number two. <coughs> my son. My son born. Burns. You say burns, right? Because he's my son. En presente le ponemos ese el verbo. Recuerden, we put S to the verb, okay? Si es tercera persona, my son, él. My son burns the food if he... If he, if he cooks. 
cooks, exactly, if he cooks alone. Y aquí repasamos el presente simple. Que si usamos tercera persona, se le pone S al verbo. All right, we put S to the verb. In positive, okay? Good. Son las 11, it's 10 one, and I want to let you go late. No, los quiero, no quiero que se vayan, no quiero dejarlos ir tarde. Así que, pero no quiero que olviden tampoco la explicación. Así que me ayudan a completar el ejercicio. Por favor, help me complete the activity, please. All right? Pongan un recordatorio. Put a reminder. The exercise is on page number 44. El ejercicio está en la página 44. Okay, pongan ahí página 44, completar ejercicio. Yo creo que esto no les demora ni tres o cuatro minutos en hacerlo. Así que me ayudan para que revisemos mañana. Es para que no se les olvide, o si no hacen nada y mañana lo vemos, mañana ya se les ha olvidado, ¿ok? ¿De acuerdo? All right. O lo hacemos ahorita en cuatro minutos, in four minutes. No, no, all right. I know your time is valuable. Sé que su tiempo es muy preciado. Ok. So then, help me with uh, the homework. Me ayudan entonces con, con hacerlo en su, en, en su trabajo, en su casa, no sé. Help me with that and we check tomorrow, ¿ok? So thank you very much then for connecting today. No se les olvide siempre ir trabajando en la plataforma. Jueves terminamos. We finish on Thursday. Okay? So thank you for connecting today. Goodbye and good night. Goodbye. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Good night, good night teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.